Hey everyone, I am your fave nurse B. Question, have you ever thought, I wanna get my bachelor's in nursing, but I don't know if I should do LPN first, then bridge to RN, then bridge to BSN, or should I go straight for RN and then bridge over to BSN, or should I just go straight for my BSN? If that is you, this video is for you. I'm gonna be looking at each and every route, and I'm gonna be going over the cost for each route and how long each route is gonna take. This is a very, very informative video. Get your pen, get your paper, take notes. Watch it from start to end because it's very, very informative. You are going to be shook by these numbers because I definitely was. So continue watching as always. Like, comment, and subscribe. And share my channel, share my videos with someone else who will find it helpful. Thanks for watching you all. Let's get into the video. Okay, so for the purpose of this video, I am going to be showing how you all can go from LPN to RN to BSN or from RN to BSN or going straight to your uh, into a bachelor's program. This is based on someone who has not taken any type of courses um, and they're just starting off. I'm going to show you the cost and the time difference between each route of getting to your bachelor's degree. So we're going to start off with the LPN program you all. I'm using the LPN program that I went to as far as the RN program I'm looking at the community college in my area and as far as the bachelor's program I'm looking at a university in my area. If you are going for an LPN program in my area the cost to the school that I went to right now is $19,300 and it's going to take you 12 months. There's no prereqs for, prereqs for that. You go right into the program. Next, if you are deciding to go into a RN to BSN program, so for the community college where I'm at, you need to get these prereqs done before you can apply for the program. The cost per credit hour at the community college is $113. So the cost for these prereqs before you get into the program is going to cost. And I, I did as far as the books, I just estimated that each class is going to be around $100 per class for books. Now, of course, I know it fluctuates. Some classes could be 200. Some classes, the books could be 50. Some classes, you might not even need a book. But I just averaged it about $100 per course as far as the cost of the books so with tuition as well as books i estimated that it will cost you three thousand five hundred twenty five dollars to do your prereqs and the time it would take so i'm going to be conservative as far as the time i'm going to say it's going to take about one and a half semesters or sorry one and a half years or about three semesters to get done with your prereqs for the RN program right here this green area what you have to keep in mind when you're going this is just to get into the RN program but keep in mind there's going to be a wait list okay and here in St. Louis you're looking at about a two year wait list for the community college keep that in mind of course it could be totally different where you're at now while you're waiting on that wait list, um, you could be getting done with your COREX. So these are COREX, meaning these are courses that you do not have to take prior to applying to the RM program, but you do need to complete these general education courses. You need to complete them while you're in the RM program. And if you are on that wait list, say you, you apply to the RM program, you do your prereqs, you apply, and you're on that wait list and you still have your COREX to do, Go ahead and get those done while you're waiting on that wait list so that once you get into the RN program, you do not have to take those courses. All you have to take is your nursing courses. For this school, the cost of actually getting your RN degree after you do your prereqs and then do your co-reqs is going to be $19,000. Now, this $19,000 actually includes your co-reqs. But just keep in mind, if you went ahead and took those COREX while you were on the waiting list, then you would, of course, subtract the cost of those courses from this $19,000, and you would have to pay that um, while you're on the waiting list. And then the time it takes for the Community College RN program is two years, okay? So we got a, a year and a half for our prereqs, two years for the actual program, and then you have a waiting list, which could go up to about two years. Of course, it just depends. All right.
So coming back over here to our LPN to RN to BSN route, when you're going from LPN to RN, you're going to have to take these same courses plus the corecs that were um, that are included for this program. So I have those over here, Human Growth and Development, AMP2 and Micro. So you have to take all the prereqs and the corecs before you even apply for the LPN to RN bridge program. Now the cost for that, for all of your prereqs, is going to be $5,068. And of course that does um, include that, that guesstimate that I have as far as the cost of books. And then the time, I'm going to say it's going to take about mm, about two years to do that. I'm going to, like I said, be conservative. I know people are in school, people are working, whatever the case may be. So I want to be conservative and say it's going to take you about two years. Because this is looking at like what? One, two, three, four, five science classes. Plus you're looking at a math class. Um, and then you might have to, this. you have to get intermediate algebra for their RN program. You might have to take... Uh, pre-algebra before you can do intermediate you know that type of thing so I just want to give you all about two years to complete all the prereqs before you get into that LPN to RN bridge program and then the cost for that RN um, LPN to RN bridge program at the community college is going to be roughly $16,000 and it takes $1.5 years to complete so about three semesters of uh, classes here in St. Louis to complete so you have your year of time for your LPN about two years for your prereqs and about one and a half years for your RN program so going over here from RN to BSN you're basically at the same spot right now at this point in time you have your RN, no matter if you went for LPN to RN to BSN or you went RN to BSN. So everything is the same right now. So in order to get into the RN to BSN program, you have to, of course, take all of those classes plus all of these classes to apply to the program. So this is pretty much the same right now. So the cost for all of these prereqs to get into the RN to BSN program here in St. Louis is going to be around 3000 nine hundred fifty one dollars and then the time it's going to take is again about um about three semesters or one and a half years i'm going to be conservative because you have to take three social sciences three humanities college algebra statistics and a government or uh, american history course so this here is how much it's going to take those prereqs to get into your rn to bsn and then right here the actual cost going from rn to bsn here at this college over here that we're talking about, the university, the cost is $13,554. And then the time to go from RN to BSN is 2.5 years. All right, so now we're gonna be looking at the BSN program. All right, so again, this is going for their traditional BSN program here in St. Louis through an actual university. They um, have it where if you go in as a freshman and you take all of your prereqs at their program, you are guaranteed into their BSN program um, as long as you meet the uh, actual grade requirements for your prereqs. Now, you could go to the community college at $113 per credit hour do all your prereqs and then hope to get into their BSN program, but you're guaranteed to get into their BSN program if you take your prereqs there. So keep that in mind when you're looking at universities, when you're thinking, oh, I can just go to community college and get all of my stuff done um, at a lower price and then transfer to the university. Some universities might have it where they give you, they're getting smart, right? They know that you're gonna go to community college and then come there. They might have it where it might be a little bit harder for you to get into their program if you did not start as a freshman in their school so just for the purpose of this video i'm going to be showing you how much it would cost for you to get all these prereqs done um, at the community college and so let's look at that so the cost to do this at the community college all of these courses would be eight thousand one hundred forty one dollars and it's going to take you about two years now 
if you were to do these classes um, at the university, the cost is going to be about $25,000 to do these same exact prereqs. So, I mean, yeah, and it's still going to take you about two years to do it. So it is a huge cost difference, but like they say, if, as long as you get the grades that they want you to get in all these courses, you're guaranteed into their actual BSM program. Remember, just because you're doing prereqs in a nursing school or at a nursing program, that does not guarantee that you're actually in the nursing program until you get the grades they want on those prereqs. I hope that made sense. If not, leave me a comment and I'll do a whole other video talking about it. The purpose of this video, I'm only looking at the cost if you were to go straight into this BSM program, no community college. I just want to show you an idea of the cost difference that it would be. Um, so anyways, the cost for this program, if you were to go, is going to be $59,134. Okay, and then it's gonna take you four years. Okay, let's tally everything up. I'm going to move us down a little bit. I got my cans right there holding my board up. So for our LPN to RSN BSN program, we're going to do no prereqs to get into our LPN program. This LPN program does, even though you're going to be doing A&P and human growth and development, guess what? Those credits do not transfer. So you have to do them over to get into your RN, your LPN to RN program. That's going to be the cost of those prereqs getting into your LPN to RN program. Oh, I wanted to put right here is that this particular program, um, the community college, they only take LPNs in the spring semester. So you need to keep that in mind because say you get done all your stuff, you want to start this fall, you have to wait all the way into spring to get in as an LPN. They will not take LPNs in the fall. So that can also um, make it take longer for you to actually get done with your um, degree because you might have to wait another semester just to get in. But remember like right here, while you're waiting, you could be doing some of these prereqs for your BSN program if you know that you wanna go for your BSN. Why not get some of those done while you're waiting on that next semester before you can start? So that's just that. Um, but this is the cost of the LPN to RN program at the community college. And then this is the cost of the prereqs that you will have to take for the RN to BSN program. This is the cost of the actual RN to BSN program. Now, the full amount of LPN to RN to BSN route, the full amount of money, if you go this way, that it's going to cost you, this is a guesstimate, is going to be $57,800. Okay. So $57,873, and it's gonna take you, you know what, I'll wait to go over the time, so we're done. Now, for your RN to BSN, you're gonna be doing these prereqs before you get into the program. It's gonna cost you this amount of money, it's gonna take about this amount of time. You might have a two-year waiting list, and then for the actual RN program, it's gonna cost you $19,000. Again, while you're on this waiting list, go ahead and get your co-requisites done that plus that and then for your RN to BSN program these are the prereqs that you would have to take this is the cost of the prereqs and the amount of time it would take and this is the cost of the RN to BSN program and the amount of time it will take so your total cost if you go from RN to BSN at the community college and going over to the university is going to cost you $40,000 and thirty dollars moving over here going straight into your bsn program not taking any courses at the community college you just go straight into the university it's going to cost you fifty nine thousand one hundred thirty four dollars lpn to rn to bsn is gonna take you all let's listen it's gonna take eight and a half years okay that does not include if you have to wait for that spring only um, class. So depending on when you get done with everything, if you have to wait a whole nother semester, boom, it might take you longer. Now, the cost, I mean the time it's gonna take to go from RN to BSN, seven and a half years. And then over here, it takes you four years. But which route would you 
go. LPN to RN to BSN, RN to BSN, or straight for your BSN at the university. At that cost and that time, we're looking at about eight and a half years at 50, around 58,000. You're looking at seven and a half years around 40,000. And then five, four years around 55,000. Now, something else I didn't keep in mind here that you need to think about, going back up here, you could have a two year waiting list. So this could actually be nine and a half years before you get your bachelor's. So let's just say 10 years, a decade before you get your bachelor's, if you have to wait on that waiting list. So it's something to keep in mind, you all. It's something to keep in mind. Really want to do this video to show you all like real numbers, real time, real money, what it's like, and save yourself some time and money. It's a lot of time, eight and a half years to go this way, but the pro to it is that whole time you're working as a nurse. Same with this, seven and a half years, and you gotta wait for two years, but during those two years you're waiting, you can get your corecs done, you can get these courses done so that you can shorten up this time over here while you're waiting, so it could be less. So keep that in mind. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section, did you find it helpful? Are you gonna be doing this? Have you already done this? Were you surprised by the numbers? Were you surprised by the time and the cost? Did this help you? Let me know in the comment section. Go check out my other videos about this topic, LPN, RN, or BSN. I have them all in the description box. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. All right, you all.